We are going to go over the process of importing from bill.com into tax 1099. Before you get started, you will want to make sure that all of your vendors are set up in your bill.com account and that your payments are mapped in your chart of accounts correctly. It is important to note that the payer tax ID, whether that's an EIN or SSN, will not pull over during the integration process. So you will have to add it during the import steps each time you go to import for a payer from bill.com. If you import once for the payer and you need to do another import for that same exact payer, you will still have to add it again when you do that second import. To get started, you wanna be logged into your bill.com account. Click on settings in the top right corner. Under apps, click view all, and then scroll down to tax1099.com and click on this box. And you will see this connect option. Click connect. If you were already logged into your Tax 1099 account, it may just pull you straight to it, or it may still ask you to go ahead and log in to the account in Tax 1099 that you want to connect bill.com to. It can be the same as the bill.com email that you are registered with, if that's the same email you are registered with in tax1099.com. If it's not, you wanna use your tax1099.com registered email to log into the account that you have with us. Once you're logged in, you will be automatically brought on this bill.com import page which can also be accessed within Tax 1099 under import bill.com. You will click the existing company drop-down menu and select the payer that you are importing data for. If you are a bill.com account that has more than one company existing in it, you will see them listed in this drop-down menu. If you only have one, it will just list the company that you have existing. Click on bill.com or click on the company you have that you want to import for. And you will only be able to import for the 2021 tax year. And then you can choose NEC or the miscellaneous form type, whichever you need to import for. You can only import for one form at a time. Then click load data. Now this pop-up is a filter you will need to either choose off or on. If you choose the filter off, this will pull only the 1099 payments related to a 1099 box, meaning only the payments that have been mapped to a 1099 box in your bill.com. If you want all payments in bill.com for every vendor that you're importing for under that payer to come over, you would click on. I'm going to choose off. And you will now be on the import grid. This is a halfway point between bill.com and tax 1099. The data exists on this page at this time, but the information is not fully imported into tax 1099 and no forms have yet been created. On this page, you wanna make sure that all of your vendors have green dots on the left of their name, and you wanna make sure that your payer has a green dot as well. Because that tax ID does not pull over, the payer dot will always be red. So you will need to click edit and add your business's tax ID number. If there is any other information in this profile that you 
realize needs to be edited, you can do that as well. If you wanna add an email for your payer, this option is available um, as we do offer the ability to email the payer copies to the payer from manage forms once you have submitted the forms for e-file. So that would be a reason that you may want to put an email in the payer profile. But once you're done adding that tax ID and possibly editing any other information that may need it, then click update. You will notice that once that processes the changes, the payer dot has now turned green. If you needed to edit anything within a vendor profile, you can click on their name. It will pull up their profile information, just as it does for the payer. And you can edit anything in here that you would need to, and you would click update if you're making any changes. And it will update that information for that vendor's profile. If you need to add a vendor on this page that maybe didn't pull over from your bill.com account, you can by clicking add new record. You'll add the vendor's name and the amount possibly that they're being paid. Then once they have been added on the screen, you'll click on their name to finish adding their profile information. If you are importing a large amount of data and you have multiple pages of data and you want to filter to just show those vendors that have a red dot next to their name, you can click this filter and choose the red dot and click filter. And then this will filter the screen to show only the vendors that have a red dot and you can fix each of them. Once you are done, you will come back to the filter and then click clear and that will clear out that filter so that all forms show since they now will all have green dots. If you are importing a lot of vendors and you have quite a bit of vendors that have red dots, because there is the potential of spending too much time on this page can cause you to possibly get logged out. We do have a suggestion if you do have a lot of vendors that need editing is to go back to your bill.com account and fix those vendors and then redo the import process. Or you can choose select all and choose export all. This will give you an Excel export that has all of the data in it. You can edit that information and then you can upload the data by going to import Excel spreadsheet. Excuse me, sorry, I zoomed in. Sorry. That. But you can import that data by going to import Excel spreadsheet and upload it that way. You are still very welcome to go ahead and try to edit the vendors on this import grid. You can also save and exit. So that will allow you to save any changes that you have made. If you wanna come back and finish completing the changes that need to be made or you are not ready to move on to completely upload the data into tax 299 and you can come back to this information at a later date by going to import and bill.com. If you are ready to proceed, if you only had a single page of data, you can click this checkbox. If you have multiple, you wanna click select all and then choose next. At this point, the data has completely uploaded into Tax 1099 successfully. 
forms have been created. And click OK on this pop-up. At this point, even though you may have reviewed the data in bill.com and even review data on the import grid, we still suggest that you review the data on this page and make sure that the information has uploaded the way that you want it to and that it's correct. You can do this by clicking on view to the right of each vendor. A PDF copy will pull up for you to review the data and make sure it's accurate. If you need to make any changes, you can click edit and that will take you into the form where you're able to make changes. If you have a lot of information that you've imported, you can also choose select all, export to Excel. That will export an Excel file with all of the data in it. And you can review the data that way and make any changes. If you have a lot of changes that need to be made, you can delete this upload, fix the information in that Excel export, and then go to import Excel spreadsheet again to uh, upload that information and create the forms. You can also do download multiple PDF on this page, which will download a zip file that contains an individual file per PDF copy. And you can review the PDFs that way to verify the information is accurate. You're able to choose if you wanna have us USPS or email recipients their copies or you can select to just print them on your own and mail them out on your end. If you have another payer or company that you need to import data from, if they exist within that same bill.com account, you can at this point go to import bill.com and then select them from that existing drop-down menu and import the data for the next company. If you have a separate bill.com account that you need to log into to do the next import, you will need to disconnect the app from this company. At this time, you will have to open a new tab and go to bill.com and log back in. You will then want to go to settings and you'll see tax 1099 listed here because the app is connected to it. Click on it, click on setup, and then choose disconnect and yes. At this time, your bill.com account is no longer connected to the app. You can come back to your account and refresh the page, you may get logged out. So you'll log back into that same account for tax 1099. You can go to import bill.com and you'll see that you're no longer connected to the bill.com account. At this point, you would be able to go to the next bill.com account that you need that has the next company you need to import data for and repeat the process for that company. This is the steps for importing from bill.com into your tax 1099 account. Thank you for your time.